You have three Grammys and you have to learn how to rap on the beat and being comfortable in the music. The fuck? No! 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 Get up on your good foot! Okay, loves, welcome back to Besotic T Blog. I'm back with another video. Before we get into this one, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell so every single time I post, you'll be notified. Now, let's get into today's video. So, um,. Today, I was going to do a blackout because of this release. But after seeing everything I've seen so far today, I was like, girl, no need to do that. Because this album is still going to flop, okay? She's gearing up to flop harder than she did for the first round. No shade. That's just how I feel about this. So, um, we know Megan D dropped her album, Megan Act 2. And we don't know if it's a mixtape, deluxe, or... A new album but i'm gonna call it a deluxe because she has the mamushi remix so it's giving the same thing okay now um let's get into the album she's got songs and all the songs sounds the same no shade to megan the stallion and i don't think she really be seeing that coming online because people literally come in there in every single song go on youtube go to twitter go to instagram any single post about Megan Thee Stallion album has the particular comments. Megan Thee Stallion do not change her flow. She has one flow and the people are sick of it. Okay. Um, the people are sick of it. And um, she's a three-time Grammy Award winner, right? She says she's the rap it girl. But she cannot just attempt to switch them flows. No, no, no. Megan Thee Stallion. This is really a chop. Okay. This is really a chop. The album was a mess. The Mamushi song... The remix was trash okay the remix to the mamushi song was trash and no re no hate on twice um but <laughs> it wasn't giving what it was supposed to give i don't even understand y'all know how um i feel about the mamushi song already like the song when it came out first i told y'all that song was not my cup of tea and i don't even understand what she's saying but this time around it looks like megan made it worse okay it looks like megan made the mamushi song worse i get it she's trying to get the song charting she's trying to get the song go viral again but um she needs to hang it off flat screen do not try to milk something okay do not try to milk something that was not really hitting so the mamushi remix was a trash one for me i'm not gonna give that a five star ever okay the mamushi remix is a one out of ten no shade then um the song never play y'all already know that one that one was also trash okay it was also trash didn't have no impact it was garbage then um she had other songs on the album and i don't really want to get into those songs okay because i didn't even listen to them completely i was like this girl is doing the same thing on every single record okay this girl is literally doing the same thing on every single record and y'all be coming out to say oh she is the most lyrical female rapper out she is the her pain game don't lie her pain this don't her pain that don't and i'm like no y'all stop there okay y'all should stop there y'all should tell megan the stallion the truth i know rock nation out there gassing her head up um y'all how to be out there gassing her head up but y'all should stop there tell those girls the truth okay she sound a mess trying to redo on flow a single time she sound a mess so she needs to switch it up a little but it looks like somebody was being talked and spoke to behind the scenes and she decided to clap back to the Nicki minaj this and um every single thing that happened i believe seven months ago so megan finally had courage okay because y'all was coming out to say oh she was already responding to Nicki minaj in her previous single she was already doing she sure but those ones didn't hit even this one still didn't hit okay so megan is starting on her song bourbon she says um she's talking to Nicki minaj she says i don't even got beef with nobody but ish we all know who the eat b word is b word going live from that dirty ass creep thinking you might up but it's only your hurt yikes okay and the hot sees are out here online they say oh my god she whacked Nicki minaj she whacked Nicki minaj she whacked Nicki minaj and i'm like where's where's they whacking okay <laughs> calling Nicki minaj creep dirty because um if y'all can remember when megan dropped her he saw Nicki was on a creep Okay, Nikki was on the crib when Nikki went on that live. When Nikki told her that 109,000 people watching the live, that is more than Megan Stalin can sell first weekend. That happened. 
Okay, but let's clock that T. Okay, Nikki said that and she couldn't even sell a 70k first week. So, um, Megan, you might as well want to hang that, hang that up. Okay, and she coming out of call Nicki Minaj creep dirty girl. You the daddy one. The whole industry being run through you. So what the fuck is you saying? Okay, all them ninjas being run through you. Coming out of say Nikki creep is dirty. Ho, you better stop that. Okay, but my whole tune with this, um, this bar is not hitting the way it's supposed to hit. Okay, coming out just to talk about oh she ain't got no beef with nobody. You got beef with Nicki Minaj. Stop there. This is one thing about Megan Thee Stallion. She keeps lying that she ain't got no beef with those girls. She keeps lying that she ain't got nothing with Nicki Minaj. But at the end of the day, you still come out here sobbing Nicki Minaj. Didn't you say on the interview that you didn't got nothing with Nicki Minaj? Didn't you say that? Megan Thee Stallion, Rolling Stone interview, she said she ain't got no beef with Nicki Minaj. So, um, she keeps saying the same thing and she still ends up this in Nicki Minaj. It doesn't make no sense. If you're saying that you ain't got beef with Nicki Minaj and you still come out here to this heart on your songs, that means you're obsessed with Nicki Minaj. Let's clock it. Okay, let's clock it. If you're dissing somebody, stand 10 toes behind the diss. Don't throw stones and hide your hands. It ain't giving, okay? So, um, this bar, y'all coming out of gas online, y'all coming out of hype online. Sorry, it's not doing it for me, okay? It's not doing it for me. Okay, so um, Megan, you have to go back to the studio and come back with something hidden. No shade. This wasn't it. And in another song, she said, So much winning the thinking it's rigged. Never thought I would do it this big. I am the youngest B-word owning her masters. B-words always fucked, stuck in a deal. Okay, so let me know if you about this down below in the comment. Ah, uh, and the hotties are still claiming that this bar is hitting. Okay, they're still claiming that this bar is hitting. First things first, Magnus Stallion, I'm gonna check it down, Stop that shit, you're talking about hot girl production. There's nothing like that. Okay, you clearly under Rock Nation and Warner's music. So, um, you clearly... <clears throat> I know, independent. And coming out, should talk about owning your masters. Owning your masters, does it add up your sales? Are your fans gonna buy your song more if you didn't earn your masters? Okay, let me know. We better clock that T. Um, is the hotties going to buy more because you own your masters? No. So what is you coming out to brag about it? Stop there. If you're still gonna sell 60k, 64k, 69k first week, there is nothing to brag about owning your masters. You will completely flop. Okay, you are a complete flop and I don't want to see you coming out here to brag about owning your masters when you're clearly getting pushed from Rock Nation and Warner's Music. Talking about hot girl production. Ain't nothing like that. There is nothing like hot girl production. Okay, I don't want to see them delusional Megan Stallion fans coming down below, coming out, coming out down below my comment section saying, oh, Megan owns her masters. Megan, Megan, she, she, she has the right to put out music when she want to put out. Stop there. She's got there. But is the song going to be successful? No. Is the song going to hit? No. Is she going to come with another flow? No. The same kidding. The same flow. Nothing the same. Nothing um different from what she always delivers. So what is y'all coming out to talk about her owning her masters? That shit don't make sense to me, okay? Y'all should start being delusional. Another song she went on saying, Making random ass moves. You will NPC. No edit on this more effing. JPGS, TT shown through this motherfucking JPG. Um, Gautia, B word, you know, I've been a goat to your fave. On Bill Points, I got the best pen in the game. Okay, so like I said, she's still getting gassed up over our Rock Nation, Warner's music, her team, her hairstylist, her, um, what else? Her peers like Megan, sorry, like Flo, um, Lado, obviously the girl she roll with, okay? I don't, I'm not going to mention Cardi B because she also has shots for Cardi B. But yeah, she obviously saying she has the best pen game in rap. Camo Face is telling you that, girl. Okay, if you're being told that you've got the best pen game in female rap right now, Megan Thee Stallion, you must be one of them delusional hoes. Okay, stop there. You're not scratch off. Don't be that delusional. Ain't no way you're going to come out and say you've got the best pen in female rap. Hang it off, let's screen. Okay, hang this shit up.
I don't want to say how come that egg delusion. And this is definitely a diss to Nicki Minaj in disrespect. I'm not going to say this. This is a full disrespect to Nicki Minaj. Because Nicki Pen is the only pen we have to respect in the game. Not we. The general public respect in the game. Because she speak them bars. She not going to come out to talk about her coochie. Talk about how all these ninjas be liking her birdie. Because that is what you be doing. That is what you scratch off Cardi B and the other rap girls be doing. But Nicki Minaj is the most diverse. Nicki Minaj and a little bit of those cats. Okay? They are the most diverse female rapper in the game. So I don't want to see y'all coming at egg delusional saying, Oh, Megan is true. Megan is saying talking as she she's got the best paying game she ain't got no best paying game she's stay talking the same thing so y'all should stop being delusional and slow this bar is trash like i said so um the delusional gang felt like she also had some shots at cardi b because um she was out here swinging so on the afro of her song she said i don't want to be a bestie this hoe's messy always worried about the next b word aka Nicki minaj always itching for a motherfucking risk motherfucking problem b word b word ho please go get tested always begging me to crash out with these losers shut up enjoy this music y'all gonna learn how i move on my time and not for none of y'all amusement hmm. so let me know how you feel about this down below in the comment so um yeah i clearly see that this to cardi b okay she's saying that cardi b she don't want to be a bestie because you so messy you want her to come after Nicki minaj a single time but i mean y'all sh girl shut up and enjoy the music so um i understand what the delusion the gang is saying but at the same time i thought y'all said cardi b and megan Thee stallion are best Y'all was coming out to say, oh no, y'all keep faking them beef within Megan and Cardi B. Those girls been sobbing each other for a very long time. Forget the both of them was on the wannabe song. That was a Glorilla song. Okay? Megan Megan has always been sobbing Cardi B. And Cardi B also be sobbing Megan the Stallion. Okay? So clearly these hoes know what they doing. And um now shade. I feel like Cardi B obsession with Nicki Minaj still um is still there okay because megan is telling you you should let her be she don't want to be a bestie if you want her to come out here itching for probably with Nicki minaj but um i don't really see the this yet too okay she's saying something we get it but it's not hitting like that okay it's not here like that but i kind of understand why the delusional gang is coming outside because they also come out here to support megan the stallion i remember when megan dropped the his song because that was a diss record to Nicki minaj all of them was out here saying oh megan this megan there they was out here praising megan the stallion okay y'all was out here praising megan the stallion but when cardi b dropped out two flop singles in 2024 megan fans didn't even support that they went radio silent and um the party gang came out here dragging them and stuff like that but my whole team with this rap girl um if you're trying to diss somebody make sure it lands okay because them bars really hitting like they play fights okay they hitting like they play fights no shade and uh megan also says in another song they love to talk numbers because they can't talk talents so this is obviously a cardi b too okay this is a cardi b because when the cardi b fans be out just saying oh megan oh she not big as cardi b because they be trying to say uh, Megan Thee Stallion is above Cardi B um, right after Nicki Minaj. After Nicki Minaj, Megan Thee Stallion and Cardi B. That's what the hotties are coming out to say. Um, people are coming out to say, oh, Megan has surpassed Cardi B. So Cardi B fans, they be coming out to say, okay, but um, Meg Nick Cardi B's got the numbers. Megan got the numbers. So Megan is um, seemingly responding and also clapping back at their scene they love to talk about the numbers because they can't talk talent and um megan feels like she's talented in cardi b okay so let me know you feel about this down below in the comment do y'all believe megan is talented in cardi b let me know down below <laughs> clock that c okay clock the t but yeah yes yes the t okay yes the t uh megan is talented in cardi b okay she sometimes write her raps according to them she sometimes writes a rap but i feel like even if cardi b gets help from people cardi b knows how to switch the flows up okay that's something we have to clock too even if um cardi b gets help she knows how to switch the flows megan sounds the same on every single record and i don't think that is good okay i don't think that is good y'all can come out and say um oh she sounds good she sounds unique she loves her sound 
But that ain't great. You have to switch it up a little and show your fans that you are a diverse artist. No shade. You have to switch it up a little. I know y'all delusional gang and also thought is y'all can stay in your brain. But I feel like Megan needs to switch it up. But you guys should let me know if you feel about Megan, DC, Nikki, and Cardi B. Now, lastly, moving over to Doja Cat. So Doja came out swinging with a sweets that got the internet going crazy, okay? Most especially the kiddies. So, um, she tweeted, album okay she just put out a tweet that said album i'm teasing her fit studio album so you guys should put your thoughts and your opinion down below in the comment and everybody's out here gagging raving oh my god doja cat is about to eat doja cat is about to eat y'all should let me know if you feel about it down below are y'all gagging for a doja cat album let me know i'm not really gagging but i want to see how she performs okay i want to see how she performs with her album being the fact that scar flop did flop okay so yeah i might want to see i might want to listen to some songs on the album i'm not really gagged i'm not really yag i want to see how she's going to perform and how she's going to prevail is she going to sell more than scarlet is she's going to sell more than megan and stallion oh man she sold more than megan for scarlet but yeah is she going to do 100k is she going to do 150k with this next to the album that is what i want to see okay y'all girls should sell high that is just what i want to see nikki can't be a doing one out here winning anyways like comment share subscribe hit the notification bell and i'll talk to you guys in the next video and as usual thanks for watching